With the PlayStation 5 upon us, let's take a look back on all of the PlayStation's launch titles, not just because nostalgia is one hell of a drug, but to see how they stack up against the latest console. Mmm, you hear that? That's the sound of unadulterated sonic beauty. The boot up sound to the box of magic that started it all, the PlayStation. Released here in the States on September 9th, 1995, it brought with it 12 games. Air Combat, Battle Arena Toshinden, a games marketing campaign focused solely on getting beat up by a girl. Like to be humiliated by women. Here's your dream date. ESPN Extreme Games. Downhill raced on a skateboard and punched dudes. It was extreme. Anyways, Kiliak, the DNA Imperative, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Hey, you want some peanut butter with that jam? Power Serve 3D Tennis, The Raiden Project, Rayman. Man, what a dude. The GOAT. The game was hard as f though. Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer. Street Fighter, the movie. <laughs> the best Street Fighter game of all time. Total Eclipse Turbo. And lastly, Zero Divide. On October 26, 2000, we dived into the black abyss of potential with the PlayStation 2. It could play DVDs, and it launched with a lot of games. So, here we go. Armored Core 2, Dead or Alive 2, Hardcore. Dynasty Warriors 2, ESPN International Track and Field. Did not know that existed. ESPN Winter X Games Snowboarding. Didn't know that. Didn't know about that one either. Eternal Ring, a From Software game about a ring coming out. I doubt you could even imagine it. Evergrace, Fontavision, not to be confused with the soda. Guff, Gun Griff, Gun Gifford, Gun Griffin Blaze. Oh, I don't know about any of these apparently. Kesson, Madden NFL 2001, Midnight Club, Street Racing. Ah, before Rockstar made motion picture moving games. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soap. NHL 2001, Orphan, Cyan of Sorcery, Cue Ball, Billiards Master, Hmm, must have been a system seller. Ready to Rumble Boxing, round two. Ridge Racer, five. Ridge Racer. Silent Scope, Smuggler's Run, not the Disneyland ride, but also a Rockstar game. Street Fighter EX3, no, it's not the Street Fighter movie game, but whatever. Summoner, Surfing H3O, not H2O. And it's another Rockstar distributed gem. Wow. Swing Away Golf, Tech and Tag Tournament, Time Splitters, damn that game was so good. Unreal Tournament, Wild Wild Racing. X Squad. Man, remember when you learned the towers on the boot up screen represented the memory card data? Wild. Ah, Pure Elegance. PS3, the comeback kid of the bunch, released on November 17th, 2006, and, well, I couldn't afford it, but hey, that's all right. Instead, I just looked at these launch titles from a sad and penniless distance. Titles like Blazing Angels, Squadrons of World War II, Call of Duty 3, the infamous giant enemy crab game, or also known as the Genji Days of the Blade, Madden NFL 07, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Mobile Suit Gundam Crossfire, NBA 2K7, NHL 2K7, Resistance, Fall of Man, an Insomnia classic before Spider-Man, top tier puddles in that one, Ridge Racer 7, there's always a Ridge Racer, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 07, Tony Hawk's Project 8, Untold Legends Dark Kingdom.
On November 15th, 2013, this sleek, futuristic, doorstop-looking dude came into our lives and swept the generation right off its feet, leading into it with Angry Birds Star Wars. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, FIFA 14, Injustice, Gods Among Us, Ultimate Edition, Just Dance 2014, Killzone Shadowfall, Knack. Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Madden NFL 25, NBA 2K14, Need for Speed Rivals, Skylanders, Swap Force, Warframe, Sadly, no Ridge Racer for the PS4. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So long the days of a screaming PS4 fan and hello the PS5. As for launch titles so far, the PlayStation 5 is charging into the new generation with some heavy hitters from the looks of it. As of this recording, we have Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Astro's Playroom, Bug Snacks, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Demon's Souls, Destruction All-Stars, not to be confused with PlayStation All-Stars, rip, Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition, Fortnite, because you can't get that anywhere else except for a launch title on the PS5. That's mean. Godfall, Just Dance 2021, Man Eater, Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, NBA 2K21, Observer System Redux, Sackboy A Big Adventure, The Pathless, and Watch Dogs Legion. Oh, PlayStation 4, time to shove you in a box that I keep in my closet to reminisce about like a distant memory or that birthday card my mom sent me because I felt too guilty to throw it away. You've been a wonderful friend. For more on PlayStation, past, present, and future, keep your eyes on GameSpot. And while you're at it, check out Generation Next. It's the show about next generation consoles. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching.